Hey, Airbit. I'm Ben. I'm Airbit Senior Product Manager, and today we're going to go through hooking up your PayPal and Stripe account so we can get you paid. So this is super easy to find. First of all, if you haven't already connected your PayPal account, you're going to see an alert here that's going to tell you to go ahead and, and get that connected. And you can also navigate to your account settings. And from there, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see seller preferences. And that's where you're going to be able to connect these. And PayPal is going to be required if you want to sell your beats on the Airbit marketplace or monetize your beats with YouTube content ID. And the Stripe account can be used in your Infinity and HTML5 stores along with PayPal. So you can add a Stripe account or not, depending on what user experience you want to have for your standalone stores. So let's start with PayPal. First, as you can see, there's a link here. There's a great support article that Ellis wrote about how to set up your PayPal account. And it walks you through all the steps. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have a verified PayPal business account. If you don't already have a verified PayPal business account, the steps are right here. Uh, go ahead and go through those first and then come back here and finish this video. Okay, so as long as we have the verified PayPal business account, go ahead and start by entering the email address associated with that account here in this, in this field. And the next thing you can see, it's asking for a payment data transfer token. And there are a couple other steps that are specified in the support doc. So first we're actually going to set up this IPN, this instant payment notification. Uh, and so you can see the four steps here. We're going to just go through it. So we're going to go to, this is my PayPal dashboard. We're going to go to my account settings, and then we're going to scroll down here to website payments. And next we're going to select instant payment notifications right here. And now we're going to click choose IPN settings. Okay, and see how it's asking for this notification URL? Well, right in the help article, we're gonna use this URL. And you can see if you already have a URL set for some other system, you can leave it. Airbit will continue to work. You just need to have a URL in here. So if you have this connected to something else and you already have a URL in here, leave it as is. We will be able to process these payments independent of what URL you have here. And we also want to make sure we have receive IPN message enabled. Okay, so next we're going to look at the PayPal payment data transfer. Uh, and again, it talks you through what this is all about. And again, we can go, I'm going to go back to my, we'll go back to my dashboard home. And we're going to go to account settings, website payments, website preferences, okay. So account settings up here, website payments over here, website preferences right here. And we're gonna set auto return to on. And next we can grab this URL here and we're gonna use that in the URL field for auto return. If you already have an auto return URL set, you can use what you're already using you don't have to use our URL. We can override what you have there when you're processing things on Airbit. All right, so now let's save this URL. And we're gonna scroll back down, it's saved. And now we should be able to see the payment data transfer option. So yeah, we're gonna set payment data transfer to on and it should automatically save that. And now we have this identity token. So you wanna select the identity token, copy that, and you're gonna paste that into the payment data transfer token field on the Airbit dashboard. And now we're gonna scroll down and just save my settings. All right, so now my PayPal account is linked and set up and I can get paid for my marketplace sales. If I have content ID approval, I can get my monetization payments and I can also use my PayPal account on my HTML5 and Infinity stores. Next, we're gonna connect Stripe. Stripe is easier. So we're just gonna click the connect with Stripe. You're gonna be able to select uh, an account to connect to. You can also create a new account in this workflow. So if you, want, if you need to create a new Stripe account here, you can do so. 
create the account and it'll take you back to the Airbit site when you're done. So I'm gonna connect this account. And success. So now I have both my PayPal account set up and my Stripe account set up. And for Stripe, you can also request your customers' addresses for when they buy Beats through your Infinity or HTML5 store using your Stripe account. So by default, this is set to no. You can set this to yes or no. And that will, if you set it to yes, it will ask your customers for their addresses. So I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna set this to no. We have both PayPal and Stripe set up. I'm gonna save. And that's it. Now you can get paid through the marketplace for content ID, through your Infinity Store and through your HTML5 Store. So I hope you found this video useful. As always, you can reach out to me at product at airbit.com or community support at support at airbit.com. And if you have any comments on these features or any requests or any general feedback, just go ahead and reach out. And yeah, let's get out there and make some awesome music. <laughs>